What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Honeystead. My name is Kaylee and oh man, it's a beautiful day. Come on, let's go see. Let's go see some of my girls. to replace that one's bottom board. I think it's officially, officially done for. It'll be future projects for spring. Oh my gosh, look at them. I needed this today. I needed to see these girls fly. You know, I had a video that I was actually gonna put out for you guys. Um, I spent, I think a good solid, two hours minus a few breaks trying to film and and share a a glycerin tincture uh showing you guys how to make how to make glycerite anyways long story short i lost all the footage from that uh yeah that's great but I still wanted to do something with you guys and I was going to take you guys back to the apothecary and redo that video but I think I'm going to hold off and do it another day um, mainly because I had to I wanted to show you guys this this right here I wish the camera I wish you guys could hear it I purposely fed everybody so that they wouldn't be very loud um, while I came over here because there's something in this pig pen that's growing. Actually, I'll let you know, there's no animals in this pig pen. Um, this pig pen e is currently starting to uh, grow back and um, be ready for when we go to rotate. But anyways, I was over here checking things out and I don't know, oh, I think I missed the opportunity. Yeah, I did. Oh darn. That, those are oysters. Oyster mushrooms. But this whole tree looks like it is just loaded. I harvested a little bit from here and I figured out, it's like, you know, we're gonna have a real nice warm day. I was hoping to go ahead and harvest a lot more so that we can go ahead and prepare it in the freeze dryer, but that's not happening today. So, <laughs> So maybe I should have stuck with going to the apothecary and showing you guys how to make a make a tincture using glycerin. Oh boy. Uh, I feel like I am two for two on uh, attempted videos that aren't going exactly the way that I had intended. Um, but you know what, maybe there's another reason. Maybe there's another reason. So, I think sometimes I need to, I don't know, I have to remind myself this, and today, um, especially today, I will say this is a true uh, finding for my, for my day. I heard somebody coming up behind me. <laughs> Um, so from the beginning, from the beginning, I've always shared to, to find something that you are, are, are thankful for, you know, in, in the day that you're having. It's important, you know, to find one thing that you are thankful for. 
and uh, yeah I'm thankful for this <laughs> I'm thankful for this day I'm thankful for Sun and the other thing that I do is I share it with somebody uh, I share what I'm thankful for in that day and it might be on Instagram I'll just put a post or it might be with my mom or with my husband and my kiddos but um, but I'm sharing it with you guys today because this is what I'm thankful for. I've had two videos completely go not the way that I intended, but you know what, this is life. Uh, and it's all about just going with it. I mean, yeah. What I do though wanna express is not every day is like this. You know, sometimes there's very stressful days on the homestead especially, but you know, I've, I've shared from the beginning, days like this, you know, good days make all those bad days completely, just completely worth it. And yeah, that's a, that's a tool that we use every day, every day. Find something that you're grateful for. You know, I'm grateful that I found those funky mushrooms, <laughs> hoping that they were going to be good enough that I could harvest and load them up. I was hoping, I was going to, I was really hoping to see if they were going to like grow, grow even more, but I just, I don't know, I think the cold snap got to it. But I'm thankful that I didn't get to finish that part of the video and I could just share with you something that I do every single day. Um, just my practice of, of just being and there's so much to be thankful for so much to be thankful for in in life and not to get too deep with this but sometimes people need to hear it um we might i just i feel like every time i turn on the news which is very far and few in between um but i feel like sometimes you know it's there's nothing that's good <laughs> that is happening. Um, I guess what I'm saying is sometimes turn that off and look for yourself because there really is good stuff out there. Like a cow that <laughs> she wants to be in it. Oh, there's a little bee flying right over her head. Uh, anyways, yeah, I'm thankful for that. The other thing that I'm thankful for, I don't know if you can see this, but I just looked over right, uh, where is she? I can see a little bit. Looks like my grandma wanted to go for a walk. I had her out today um, for a good bit and uh, took her on the side by side that was fun taking my 97 year old grandma out four wheeling um, but I think she's heading up to the apothecary to see to see uh, come see me <laughs> you want to ride yes yes that's okay I can put this in my Oh my goodness. I told you mother, I said, I have the best day to It was a good day. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was a good day. You want me to go home this? Ah. Uh, yeah. No, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah, it feels gorgeous outside. I want to do my work and I say, I'm done. Yeah. Take advantage of days like this. I know. have dumped that in their feeder but it was full of bees <laughs> all right see 
I'm feeding the birds and the bees. This is really hard to do with one hand. Everybody seems to be picking back up. I notice they tend to lay a lot more um, when I actually let them out and roam around the property. I think it's because of all the sunlight that they get, uh, but my coops and my run, it's kind of, you know, covered by trees. So they do get sunlight, just not, not as much. One green egg, it's kind of like a light green. I have a few girls that lay dark olive eggs, but looks like they're taking a break today. Figured while I was out and about that I would run in and grab some chickens from the freezer so we can get them thawed out for tomorrow's dinner. Tonight, I have no idea what I'm doing. And yes, I still have frozen, frozen tomatoes. It looks like the girls are already already making their way back home. Just like I am gonna do. <laughs> I gotta figure out what I'm cooking for dinner and get these chickens brought in and thawed out for, for dinner tomorrow. But thanks for coming and hanging out with me on this day. And not exactly what I had intended, but I think it was a good day. So as always, don't be afraid to get your hands dirty and learn something old. Bye guys.